You're listening to Breakfast Business with Vincent Wall. 2018 was a record-breaking year for Dublin's office market, while the underlying average size of office space rented by commercial tenants has risen by 50% over the past five years. These are signs, according to Savills Director of Research, Dr John McCartney, that the scale of office demand in the capital has taken on a momentum no longer linked to the size of the Irish domestic economy. And John McCartney joins us in the studio. John, thanks for coming in. Uh, This is your Dublin office market in minutes report. Looking at the, the commercial pages of the Irish Times this morning, it is phenomenal the amount of office space that's out there, the amount of activity happening in the Dublin office market. This new capital docks, office buildings, looks like 700, meter, uh, uh, 700 euros per square metre. It's really booming, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And it's, I suppose it's no more than we would expect in a booming economy. Um, but it, it's, it's interesting to sort of track what has happened in the Dublin office market over time because in a sense it really is a microcosm of what's happened in the Irish economy. 20 years ago, if you think about who the big takers of office space were in Dublin, it was the, the government taking space for civil servants. It was local professional services firms like accountants and solicitors. And it was the big banks. Uh, so it was a fairly narrow group. And the unifying feature of all of those occupiers was that they were focused on the domestic economy. But now what we have is we have the likes of Facebook, which has recently taken a huge amount of space out in the old bank centre in Balls Bridge. And they're going to create a campus there that will ultimately uh, cater for up to 7,000 employees. They're setting up their whole EMEA headquarters there. And it's it's symptomatic of what Ireland has become. It's become, uh, you know, more than it ever was in the past, an outward-facing economy. And uh, from our point of view as uh, estate agents, what we're looking at is a decoupling of the demand for office space from the size of the small domestic economy. They're, these companies are hiring workers to serve the global economy. And the nature of those new tenants and their demands actually shaping the, uh, changing the physical shape and scale of the buildings that are required now in, in, in the key Dublin office market. Uh, absolutely, Vincent. Yeah, the average size of the new office building that was built uh, in 2018 was just over 7,000 metres. So that's about two and a half times more than it was a decade ago. And it's about five times more than it was 30 years ago. So office buildings are getting bigger um, simply to house these bigger companies that are serving uh, the needs of a global audience rather than a domestic now, you, you, you put a number of, you attribute a number of factors as to why the multinationals are coming to Dublin, and we know some of them, obviously tax, uh, obviously the, the English uh, language speaking workforce we have here, our flexible nature of our labour market. You also say more sophisticated accounting practices. How, how's that attracting multinationals here in your, in your view? Yeah, well, what we're seeing, I think, is we're seeing uh, generally um, a sort of a, a, a division of labour within global corporates where they're, um, you know, where they're uh, assigning certain uh, points of the value added chain to different countries based on their competitive advantage. Now, one of our competitive advantages, of course, is the low rate of corporation tax, and that has uh, led to uh, transfer pricing where companies are running um, money through the books in, in, in Dublin in order to avail of the low corporation tax and minimise uh, their global tax liability. So this is a sort of a long-standing uh, practice, but as the world has become more globalised and international trade and services has increased, uh, th- that that is the type of practice that's been used more and more. Now, a huge amount of, of new office space coming on stream in Dublin, uh, but the vacancy rate at about 8% is the lowest in nearly 20 years. So I suppose the key question, John, is can this pace of, of office development and office tenure be maintained? Well, yeah, I, I, I think so, Vincent. Last year, to put some numbers on it, we built about just under 190,000 square metres of office space. Uh, but we have to remember that some office blocks were knocked down, older ones to be rebuilt and redeveloped. So in net terms, we have maybe 150,000 square metres of new space added 
to the office stock. But when you look at the amount of space that was absorbed by occupiers expanding or new entrants coming into the market, uh, in fact, it was about a hundred. Uh, uh, it was a bit more than than the amount of space built. It was about one hundred and eighty thousand square meters. So. As a result, the vacancy rate has fallen. I, I think the good news is that there is uh, some more office space in the pipeline ready to come and it'll be there if companies need it and the economy requires it. But what we're not going to get, I think, clearly at this stage is an avalanche of supply that will swamp the market and drive down rents. Because, briefly, John, we are going to a transformational stage now with the development of these campuses for the likes of Facebook and Google. That's unlikely to happen again uh, over a, a, you know, a 10 or 20 year period, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I, I, I think we're going through a structural change. But, of course, all of this activity breeds sort of, um, you know, uh, a, 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 whole, a whole range of other supportive activities and that all creates office demand as well. So you do continue to get the small uh, occupiers with their own requirements for office space coming in and sort of feeding off these bigger these bigger plays. And of course if we're lucky we may have companies coming here to look for space in five or ten years time we haven't even heard of yet. Yeah, indeed that's the nature of things. <laughs> John McCarthy of Savills, thanks for coming in to, to share that booming office market in Dublin uh, that story with us.